Cone Peach. Very interesting choice from Jukane. I think maybe he's just gonna try and abuse the fact that Cloud has better range, really, with his aerials. Um, onto Battlefield we go. But yeah, I mean, of course, back air, uh, fast fall forward air, gonna do a lot, and a lot of shield damage. Uh, a Cloud really does allow Jukane to approach better than Peach does. But the thing is with Sola is, you know, you talked about the peaks and valleys. Whenever Sola's been in that valley, he's just been able to get a lot of nares, a lot of forward airs, uh, to catch out, you know, a lot of landings that his opponents have been trying to go for. And it's that neutral play that's made Sola so good, despite, you know, not having a lot of you know, mana points and whatnot. So we're seeing that right now as Sola's playing super well in the middle of the stage, kind of forcing Jukane uh, to play near the ledge, which is something you don't want to do as Cloud uh, too often, the Kaboom coming out, finally. But both players right now on, you know, quite the role and quite the start to this match. I have not seen a lot of the Sola hero, so I'm very curious to see, like, is Sola a top decker? Are they willing to go for the shenanigans? We already saw the thwack come out the one time, clearly not afraid to pull out the silly moves, but we'll see if it continues to be that way or if that's sort of like a, a one-time bid. Ooh, nice stuff. And that's, yeah, I, that, I mean, I, I'm looking at how, like Sola's usage of the menu. Yeah, he's willing to wait, but he's super quick. You know, finally, you know, seeing whatever, uh, you know, move is available, whatever spell is available, and just throwing out what, you know, potentially is the best option. And sometimes it's okay to just, you know, throw out a random move, just have a hitbox out there. That's kind of what caused Jukane actually to lose that first stock, was having a hitbox available that caught Jukane's jump, that caught Jukane trying to recover. And, I mean, Cloud doesn't have the best recovery, you know? A, a, a character that is so easily jumpable somehow made really, really good by Spargo, who won Watch the Throne, by the way. Yes, really, he really did. Spoilers, in case anybody hasn't watched that yet. But, you know, it's the Smash scene. If you're watching Collision, you watched Watch the Throne. That was a... What an oh, amazing Cinema. weekend. That was quite the weekend and quite the back air right there for Jukane to take off that first stock. And uh, quite surprisingly, this has been a very slow-paced game between both of these guys. Yeah, it has been very methodical. I feel like the methodical gameplay actually favors Hero in this matchup, just because you get more opportunities to check that deck. And I'm noticing, ooh, oh. Sola with a great hit there. I didn't think that killed at first, but Sola is actually reading through the whole deck. Definitely not a top decker. But part of that may just be that like Jukane is not putting on the pressure, so you have the time to go through that and choose your options. Mm -hmm. And like, even if, you know, the, the mana points we can see right now, it's kind of low. Sola is trying to, you know, play play neutral, get these random hits off, you know, forward air and air having, you know, a lot of range. And even if you hit shield, you get some of your points back. And so Sola is doing very well, you know, not pulling the trigger too early on his spells or, you know, going for options that don't seem like the most optimal. You got to watch out. Bounce is out for Sola. The down are not going to spike. That was a great conversion from Jukane. The rinse and repeat until you get the right hitbox, the right DI, or maybe I should say wrong DI out from Sola. But either way, ended up working out really well for him there, but got a little bit of a deficit to come back here and Sola continuing to pile on the pressure. It's definitely something that Cloud can make back, but you ain't making that back when that Kaboom hits right out of that crackle. Um... I mean, really, really good stuff from Sola, right? Jen, just looking at his menu and having, I mean, granted, you know, having Kaboom and Crackle uh, is a crazy combo uh, just to what have man? on your deck. But again, this conditioning was really good from Jukane. And not to mention, you know, reading that bad DI from Sola, using that, you know, extra mobility, you know, that that limit gives to get that back air off definitely helped Jukane finish off that second stock because if he didn't have limit, I'm pretty sure he, he would have whiffed. Oh, yeah. I'm also a little curious here, like, why is Jukane shaking his head so much after that game? I felt like it was it was pretty solidly in Sola's favor all the way through. Maybe just a, a little bit tilted by the RNG of the character. Sometimes it feels like no matter what happens with this character, if you get hit, there's a piece of your brain that just tells you, oh, that was RNG. Character ban him. Remember when... <laughs> oh, oh. Remember when Hero had that whole band saga? That was fun. Yeah! <laughs> the left and hate train. Oh, oh, we need to bring that back. Those were simpler times when the worst thing we could complain about was Hero's Hero. RNG. Hero! <laughs> it's like, oh, this, this dishonest mid-tier. <laughs>
<laughs> I mean, clearly we have more dishonest characters that we have to deal with. And right now, Jukane has to deal with this stock deficit because he lost that stock earlier to that forward smash. And maybe Jukane's a little bit, you know, uh, tilted by the fact that he hasn't been getting all of his inputs correctly. Of course, uh, in that first game, I don't know if you saw it, but he did miss input a, uh, a down B with the limit and, you know, kind of wasted that really early to eventually then get hit by it. A read, no critical. It wasn't. I wanted the anyway. crit so bad. <laughs> oh my god, the magic burst! <laughs> and now he has no MP. Somehow avoiding that, and Jukane might be just might have just been given a gift, but they give so you give it away. It's not Christmas yet. He opened his gift a little bit too early. Yeah, maybe he did that that night before Christmas, asking your parents for just the one. But honestly, not even getting that one stock right now, as somehow Sola, despite losing all of their MP, has managed to claw it back to a solid 60 here and a 60% damage and still climbing. Oh, the bounce actually not coming out in time for Sola. Um, that definitely could have uh, costed Drukane that, that final stock to potentially be... Um, final uh, game i don't know if this is best of five um but if it is i mean jukane still needs to fight like it's you know <laughs> it, it's his final yeah. stock and winner Jukane is struggling right now. Like like you said, regardless if it's best of five, you need to just figure something out against this hero. This has just been, like, the RNG has not been a factor. Jukane's just getting outplayed in neutral right now. Sola is consistently one step ahead. Yeah, and you can see in Jukane's player cam that he's getting a little bit tilted in that, you know, Sola's playing this mental game very well and finally gets that stock. A little bit pissed off about that. I can't blame him. Uh, Sol is a very good player, so, I mean, again, a loss like that is definitely something that you kind of just have to take. But I think Sola, we talked about it, that even despite him not having all of his MP, he was able to just play neutral super well, play, you know, kind of bait and punish with this character, like you can see right there, getting setups with that upbeat, of course, but just catching out a lot of Jukane's jumping. And that's the thing with Cloud is that you have to be a little bit more careful with what moves you throw out to recover because you're so limited with this character. And, you know, despite Jukane's um, fleeting attempts to potentially win the game, that kind of panicky um, movement that came out from Jukane is what caused him to lose, really. And Sola keeping his composure a little bit better, um, ultimately taking this set to, oh, and I mean, his cloud, uh, Jukin's shown that his cloud, you know, has put in the work, that it can put in the work. It's just a matter of, you know, trying to keep your composure against a character like Hero that you don't really see often. Of course, that air dodge right there, Sola smartly waiting for that. Um, but I mean, yeah, Sola moves on to the next round with a solid 2-0. Yes, he does. I feel like you summed up the set pretty well there. Again, just Sola one step ahead. And that key moment where he had no MP, that's the spot I feel like we really need to highlight. That's where Hero is at his worst. There should be no out for him there, especially against a character like Cloud who's able to just safely space. But just the player diff. You got the skill diff just coming out from Sola was so impressive to not only get out of that situation, but then take the next stock off of uh, the opponent. Really, really good play there.